This is the 2023 Holiday Barbie. It's the 35th anniversary of Holiday Barbies this year. Only four out of the 35 dolls have been pink. The last pink doll was released in 2009, which is 14, almost 15 years ago. It's been a while. So I'm going to turn this year's Holiday Barbie pink. These are the four dolls in the collection this year. Sometimes there's five. I'm going to use this one to customize. This doll has a very beautiful face sculpt called Carl. It's very popular. Her makeup looks amazing. And overall, she is just a gorgeous doll. I'm removing her dress and accessories so I can customize them. I'm going to use her for another custom doll for another video. 2023 really has been the year of pink because of Barbie and the Barbie movie. I got the rollerblading doll at Walmart for $25. I think she's the perfect base to use. I'm just removing all of her accessories and outfit. I also decided I'm just going to keep her on this body. I'm not going to be doing any made to move swaps or anything like that. Because I get excited, I have to try on the dress first to see if my idea is going to work. And I'm really excited with how this looks. Her hair is a mess, it needs some help, but let's work on her dress first. To turn her dress from gold to pink, I'm using Rit Synthetic Dye. I have my pot of boiling water, now I'm just adding the dye and mixing it. I also added a little bit of dish soap. I pre-washed the dress, now I'm just adding it into the pot of dye. I almost forgot this little shawl, and I'm constantly stirring this pot. Going from yellow gold to pink, I knew wasn't going to be completely possible or perfect, but I also wanted to experiment and just see how this would turn out. Maybe there's a chance this will just turn pink. Maybe not. Now that the dress is done cooking, I'm just taking it off the heat and I'm going to rinse everything out. Here's the result of the dress. It's partially pink and partially red. The color of the sparkly top is okay, it's more of a darker pink, but I think it's going to look good. The top layer with the tulle and the sparkles definitely turned pink. The skirt layer underneath, way too red, not even close to pink, so I'm going to have to replace it. I'm replacing the burgundy ribbon with hot pink ribbon. I just cut off the old ribbon and use glue to attach the new one. It looks a lot better with this color. I have to make a new skirt, so I'm cutting off and detaching the old one. I have this hot pink fabric and light pink fabric. I decided to go with light pink. I just think it looks better with the sparkles and the top. Some of the sparkles faded a little bit. I wanted to add a more pink glitter to them anyway, so I'm painting on some glue over the sparkle and then tapping the glitter right over it. If you notice any spots with big clumps of glitter or excess glitter, just ignore that. I ended up shaking the dress out and all the excess glitter fell off. So it might look a little messy, but it only stays where I put the glue. I'm cutting this fabric to make her skirt. Also ignore my scissors. My regular fabric scissors would not cut through this. 2024 New Year's resolution is to get better scissors. I'm hemming the bottom of the dress and then I just sewed it back up, reattached it to the fabric. I'm actually really proud of how this turned out. My hemming is not perfect, so don't look too close, but I really love this dress and I think it looks amazing pink. Now I have to fix her hair and give her a hairstyle. The doll's hairline is messed up. There are hairs that are not in the right place. I'm just using a needle to move them around. As you can see, it looks a lot better now. So I just spray the hair down with water, comb it a little bit, and to keep the hair in place and flat, I'm just using an iron. 
To make the rest of the hair extra smooth, I'm going to give her a boil wash. I'm pouring boiling water into my glass bowl. Then I just dunk her head in, comb through the hair, and repeat a few times. Doing these steps makes such a big difference for the doll's hair. Now I'm going to do a hairstyle for her that's very simple to do. I'm going to name it The Holiday. So this is a hairstyle you can do for your dolls. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. First, separate two strands of hair in the front. Then you're gonna pull back a section of hair from each side and use an elastic to secure it in the back. Then you're gonna take some ribbon, any color of your choice, tie it around the elastic, and create a bow. And that's how you do the holiday hairstyle. Again, very simple to do, super baby easy, but I think it looks really nice. I'm going to take it one step further for my holiday Barbie and add some curls or waves. I'm going to use pipe cleaners, and this is also very easy to do. I just wrap the hair around the pipe cleaner and secure it at the top and bottom. After I'm done curling her hair, I'll add the ribbon back in. I know Holiday Barbie is very special to a lot of people, including myself. I've been collecting the ornaments since I was seven years old. I know there's people who aren't doll collectors, but they buy Holiday Barbie every year as a tradition or to pass down to their family. It's really cool that this line has been around for 35 years. That's a lot of different generations, and they definitely could have gotten rid of this line, discontinued it, but it's really special, and I'm glad it's continuing on. To make sure her curls stay in place, I'm just boil washing her hair again. I just dunk her head in the water a few times, and then I place the doll in the freezer for about an hour to completely set the curls. Taking the curls out and seeing how they turned out is the most fun part. I redid the elastic and now I'm putting the bow back in. I think this hairstyle turned out really cute. Let me know if you ever try this holiday hairstyle. I just have to do some final touch-ups and her accessories. As you can see on the original gold holiday Barbie, her shawl is attached to her dress, which you definitely saw me just rip out while I was unboxing the doll. So I'm sewing the shawl back to the dress. For her accessories, I'm just painting them pink. I'm also painting her nails pink. Here's how my custom doll, turning holiday Barbie pink, turned out. I think she turned out really pretty. She's exactly what I envisioned. Just honoring the 2023 pinkness of Barbie. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think of her. While filming this video, I actually got a very special package from Barbie. These are some of the favorite collector dolls of this year. There's so many amazing dolls in this box. Mariah Carey Barbie. She sold out really fast and I was not able to get her, so I'm really grateful to have her. Thank you so much, Barbie. The 2023 Dia de Muertos Barbie. And a few of the Barbie movie dolls. Most of these dolls range from $25 to $75, so this ended up being a huge box of collector dolls. Thank you so much, Mattel Barbie, for this gift. Hopefully soon, one of these years, we'll see an official holiday Barbie with pink. Honestly, even if they just released a special edition holiday pink Barbie every year, I would buy them all. Pink is just Barbie's color. Be sure to leave a like for pink holiday Barbie. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in 2024. Bye!